How are alcohol and drug testing used in serious vehicular crimes in Ohio? I'm Sean Dominey. I'm a criminal defense lawyer with the Dominey Law Firm in Columbus, Ohio, and this video is going to answer that question. Now, if there is a serious vehicular crime like vehicular homicide or vehicular assault, there is often alcohol and or drug testing done in those cases. And that's because alcohol and drugs can impair a person's ability to drive. There are three different types of testing, uh, blood testing, urine testing, and breath testing. So blood testing is typically done in the hospital and it's actually very common in these cases. What's interesting about blood testing is that the person either needs to consent to the blood test or the law enforcement needs to get a warrant to draw the blood. Something else that's interesting is that blood test can be done either at the hospital or at a crime lab. And the rules for admissibility for those tests are different depending on which test was done. The second type of testing is urine testing. Now most states don't use urine tests, but Ohio still does. Something about urine testing that you should know is that for a urine test to be admissible in court, the prosecutor has to prove that the test complies with all of these state regulations. And there are a lot of them. And we find that sometimes the test hasn't complied with those regulations. And so the test gets thrown out. And even if the test is admissible, we can still challenge the accuracy of the test. The last type of test is a breath test. And we don't see breath tests too much in serious vehicular crimes because they aren't done at the hospital. Uh, they're done at uh, law enforcement agencies. But we do have some, uh, some cases where a breath test was done because our client uh, was in fact taken to a police station. The breath test, like the urine test, is subject to those uh, regulations which are issued by the Ohio Department of Health. And the prosecutor has to prove that the test complied with all those regulations. And again, even if the test is admissible, we are allowed to challenge the accuracy of the test results. If you've been charged with vehicular homicide or vehicular assault uh, and you had to give a blood, breath, or urine sample for testing, then uh, this is very important to you. There are a lot of other issues related to serious vehicular crimes that are, are important to you as well if you're in that situation. So if you are, we encourage you to find out as much as you can about your situation before you take any action. And our website is a good place to do that because we have several pages about vehicular homicide and vehicular assault. We also have many videos about those topics on our YouTube channel. And finally, we have two books, the Ohio Vehicular Homicide Guide and the Ohio Vehicular Assault Guide. So you may want to check those out as well. If you do your research and you'd like to talk with us about representation, there are a couple ways you can reach us. You can call the number on the screen or you can submit a contact form on our website. Either way, we look forward to talking with you and we hope you find this information as helpful. 